All right, hey, I got my epoxy all mixed up and now I get to add the pigments. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. There's the epoxy down there. It looks bubbly, but the bubbles will go away. And here's the colors I'm gonna use. We have a diamond deep blue sea. It's metallic, that's what all those sparkles are in there. And then we have a Caribbean blue and a rainbow blue. So I'm gonna put a little bit of all three of these into here and mix it up. All right, first up we're gonna go with rainbow blue. And I like this blue, it's real bright. It pops. So I'll put that in there. I don't want to do as much of the deep blue sea because it overpowered that blue and darkened it up. So we're going to go just a little bit. Or like that much right there. And we'll mix all this up and see what it looks like. And if I like it, I'll we'll run with it. But if I want another color, then we'll add that. And Caribbean blue is my last one, just to give it a little bit lighter. I'm going to go a little bit more of this because I think it'll kind of even out the blues. I want to hair more of that. And if you look down in there, you can see the three colors. Let's mix it up. It's my favorite part. Here we go. And then also we can tell the translucency, if that's even a word, by running it on a stick. And I have a stick and I'll show you in a minute once I look for it. If it's too translucent, we'll just add the colors again uh, to make it darker so you can't see through it. Translucent just means kind of uh, see-through. Opaque is more of a solid color where you can't see through it as much. Ah, that's my favorite part right here. Seeing those colors come together within the clear. And that is a pretty blue. You can kind of see on the back side right there, it's where it's dark. That's where the deep blue sea color was. And right here, like in the middle, you can see the different colors within it. They were kind of mixed together. So the darker spots are the deep blue. Then you got the brightness of the rainbow blue. And then a little bit of light. The lightest color in there is the Caribbean blue, so it kind of mixes the three colors together. It looks really cool. And that's why I like mixing a couple different pigments together. Because you get that really cool reflection off of different angles of light and darkness. And it just kind of gives it some depth. Let's just mix up a little bit more and then we're going to look at it on a stick to see how translucent it is. And I'll do that to get it off the mixer. Alright, and then I'll take my little stick here and we just pour it in there. If you can see the stick, which I can clearly see through it, that means it's see-through. So we need to go darker pigments because that's not dark enough. You shouldn't be able to see the wood on the ruler, which is a paint stick here. Um, so we got to go a little bit darker. Let me just get this epoxy off here, put that back in the bucket, and then I'm going to go with a lot more rainbow blue here, now that's the only color I'm going to add back to it, and I just don't see enough of that in there, although it's the primary color, we'll add more of it, because that's the main color I want it to be. So we'll get some more of this pigment, we're going to go thick with it this time. That should do, and it doesn't take a lot because a little bit goes a long way. Let's mix that in. Sorry about the uh, focus going in and out. It's just when the drill gets close to the phone that I'm recording on, focuses on the object closest to the camera. Always pull it out to go fast to sling all the epoxy off of the 
mixer with centrifugal force so I don't waste any. All right, that's a little bit see-through still. So you know what? I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the other two colors and it should be at the perfect consistency of translucency so we don't see through it. So let's go with a tad bit of Caribbean blue. And that's cool how it just like spidered in there. And I don't wanna go a whole lot of this deep blue over here. So I'm just gonna go with a tiny bit right there. Now this should put us exactly where I need to be. And if not, then I'll just add more of the rainbow blue. And then I gotta get it poured into the mold. Which is on the top right of this screen or the top of it you can see it over there in the background all right you see the numbers here it's barely barely translucent but i wanted a little bit more opaque so we're going to go with a little bit more the rainbow blue I know a while ago I said it should be good but apparently it's too light of a color and I'm at 94 degrees 93 uh, so I need to get it poured out pretty quickly around 100 degrees because that's what that's called the time to pour and just so it's really thick and opaque or I'm gonna put a, quite a bit in there there we go rainbow blue And you got to mix this thoroughly. It's kind of like mixing cake. You got to get all those powder pockets broken up. That way there's no pockets of powders that doesn't cook or and epoxy doesn't mix. Because if you do, you'll see the little air pockets of powder versus liquid. And you want it all liquid. Now, whether this is good or not, I'm just going to go ahead and pour it anyway, because I'm running out of time when it comes to the temperature. Alright, I got last powder mix here, and then I got to do a hand mix. Let me get that there, pull it to the side, and we're going to hand mix this bad boy. You got to scrape the walls, because there's stuff that's stuck to the walls. And you want to incorporate all that epoxy so it's all mixed in. And once you get all that mixed in, you just hand stir it for a little bit. And then everything should be incorporated. And I use the bottom of it to scrape the bottom of the bucket as well. Because you need to scrape up that epoxy that's in the bottom to get it mixed in with the rest of the bucket. So it's all well incorporated and mixed evenly I'm sorry I was talking during the drilling it's just hard to hear over the drill alright we're gonna hand mix this and if you look closely opaque look at that it looks good it ends up going translucent but when you first pull it out you can see how thick it is the, the, the piece is going to be about one inch thick but this first layer I'm pouring is only about a quarter inch, so we should be good on translucency by the time I get a couple more pours on the actual board itself, and you won't be able to see through it. But I think what I might do is as I come up in layers, the first uh, quarter inch may be the, the most opaque, and then as I come up to the surface, the last quarter may be a little bit more translucent, so it looks like uh, more depth. All right, well, there we have it. That is the color we're going with. Well mixed up. And I bet we're at temperature. 
99.5. It is time to pour. All right, are you ready for this? Time to pour this beautiful blue mixture of epoxy. That's going to be the first layer. I scrape the walls like when I was mixing it. As if I don't, you see all that? It's like getting all the mayonnaise out of the jar. If you don't, man, that's a whole spoonful you could waste out on. Look at all that good epoxy right there. Oh, man, that's going to look good. Look at that. You can already get a preview of what it's going to, the finished product to be. But the finished product is going to be even better than what we're looking at right now. I know it's only a little bit, but a little bit goes a long way. And there's a little wormhole over here I want to try to get covered up. I think what I might do is also do this to kind of seal the front edge because it'll keep bubbles. From getting in there as well. One second, let me try to put this bucket down. And then uh, I've already sealed this wood, that's why it looks shiny because it's already got epoxy, a seal coat on it. But we do this as well for the next pour, it kind of seal it up some more and just prevent some bubbles from coming to the surface and that just makes sure that in the final pour there's not a lot of bubbles that are in this piece and it's okay if it gets on the top because I'm going to surface the top anyway which basically just grinds away any um, debris or dried epoxy on the top that you don't want on the finished product. Now I'm going to do some swirls here in just a moment. And I know you won't really be able to see it in the final coat because this layer right here is going to get covered up. But you can kind of get a preview of what the next layer, final layer, would be. Okay, that looks pretty good there. And then I've got this wormhole filled in over here. All right. Yeah. Do this so the stick doesn't. All right. So well, first thing we're we'll gonna do is we're gonna take this torch and we're gonna pop some bubbles with the torch. Nope. I don't like this torch. You go upside down with it and it wants to Turn off. It's like it only works if it's vertical. So what I'm doing here is popping surface bubbles. If I can, come on now. There we go, that's good enough. So the next thing we do is I can swirl this around with the stick just to give it some little 
movement and texture. And then I'm going to hit it with the alcohol because what the alcohol does is also pop bubbles and it gives it some movement. And what I'm going to do is I have 99% isopropyl alcohol. This one in my hand is mixed with a little bit of pearl. So it's going to have some pearl pigment shimmers in it as well. It's leaking all over. There we go. That's all that needed. And now you can kind of see some sparkling shimmer. Let me zoom in so you can see the exothermic reaction to it. Now I'm going to also hit it with regular alcohol. Not the pearl, but regular. One of the coolest things that we can do after spraying it, set it on fire. So to burn off the alcohol and pop the bubbles. So we're gonna hit that real quick. It's gonna be a big flame, watch out. And what that does, is it just burns off the alcohol and pops all the bubbles. And now we just let it sit and wait, rest and cure and there we go. There's your sample of what it will look like once I do the other half because you can see on the side of the board uh, we still got some more thickness to go to get the full thing completed but there you have it